Hi Pisces, welcome to your September monthly tarot reading. Pisces, September. Okay, you've had a card fall out. Mm, the card is the Hierophant. The Chariot. The Knight of Swords. Three of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Nine of Cups. Very nice, Pisces. Starting off with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a card of major decision. It is a card of important things happening around you. In relationships, this could indicate that there's marriage, talks of marriage, marriage coming up, an engagement, perhaps renewing wedding vows, perhaps attending an engagement, a wedding. Someone might be getting married around you. It could be an earth sign. Some of you might have a Taurus in particular, a Cancer that is around you that you're uh, talking about marriage with, that you're wanting commitment from. And the Hierophant indicates that this is possibly coming in for you, Pisces. Maybe you're hearing news about, um, I see you meeting with someone face to face in the cards here with the Three of Pentacles. So it could be that you're meeting someone, could be a Taurus, could be a Cancer, or another Earth sign that is reaching out to you wanting to gain in contact with you but this is marriage plans this is big decisions that are being made in relationships with the hierophant here this is about maybe pursuing someone that you've admired from afar or someone that's admired you from afar will be pursuing you this month so you're attracting a lot of attention perhaps uh, romantically uh, pisces so maybe this is the time to get out and about if you are single if you are sitting at home wanting love and romance maybe this is the month to get out there and put yourself out there because Fated things are happening, the wheel of fortune, fated people, places, events, circumstances could certainly be certainly be coming about in September. For some, I really feel like there's someone admiring you from afar, someone that's noticing you and how attracted they are to you. This could be a new person in your relationship coming in, someone that's quite spiritual or religious. <clears throat> You might meet them at a church, at a museum, at a function where you, um, you know, are there for a purpose, for a person, a gala night even. But for those in relationships, it's planning relation, it's planning um, partnerships, it's planning marriage and engagement, it's solidifying commitment here. In terms of work, I feel like you might be um, a big decision will be uh, will fall on you or will fall on your shoulders, a lot of responsibility, a big decision. Someone will want your judgment call on something and it's, it's major. It's not, my, uh, it's not minor because you have the chariot card, you have the wheel of fortune, you also have the three of pentacles. This indicates it's negotiation or it's judgment, it's conversation over money, direction, di uh, money with the pentacles, funds, etc. Direction of a business maybe with the chariot card or direction of a role. <clears throat> as well here big decisions um, there could be a review coming up in the work front as well either if you have your own business there could be a review of your product or service if you're an employer you might be a pro um, you might be sorry an employee or an employer you might be approaching your three your third sixth 12 month probation period when this needs to be discussed there's also opportunity for you to be in the spotlight in terms of work as indicated by the chariot and the hierophant. So I think there's prominence that's coming for you, Pisces. Slowly but surely, you know, it's coming and you're going to be placed on this pedestal. And, and it could be anything. It could be that you might be put on the spot at a business meeting. It could be that you might be included in a commercial for the company you work for. It could be a variety of things. Because the chariot is a card of fame, it is a card of notoriety, uh, being placed in the spotlight, people noticing you, people noticing you for your talents, for your skills, you being the driver of your own success. And this is also progression and movement forward. So you're moving forward with something, Pisces, with the job, with the position, with a role. It could be that you're moving on from a job. I don't think so, though. The other cards indicate, you know, stability, um, commitment 
but the chariot card here could be this prominent cancer around you maybe this is in the work front this cancer is your boss or they're helping you in some way or they're helping you move forward or you're helping their business move forward or their company for some there's elevation and progression you being seen in a different light Pisces you being seen as someone who can really take over take over the business take over the role take over the department you're starting to be seen more and more as a leader as a source of inspiration with the chariot card here the the black and white sphinxes are indicative of balance maybe there is a lack of balance or you're starting to implement balance in your working lives and your relationships or in work if you're juggling a lot of tasks maybe you're jumping over those obstacles and finally getting into a space where you are quite balanced and things work quite harmoniously with each other the next card over is the knight of swords this could be a gemini libra or aquarius around you there's a sense of urgency around this person and you maybe you're in a relationship and there's a sense of urgency there's a time limit placed on the two of you or a time restriction this is anxious energy, someone wanting to move forward impulsively. This could be you, Pisces. In terms of work, um, maybe creating a name for yourself with the Hierophant and the Chariot. In terms of work, maybe work tasks or creative tasks. There's a sense of urgency that is around you. I'm not sure if you're pressed for time because you have a certain deadline coming in. Um, say, for example, maybe there's a collaborator that's wanting to come in. Maybe at the end of the year. Maybe you know they're coming next, next year. And there's a sense of urgency for you to finish something so you can show them. But there's um, rushing and urgency and the need to press forward quite quickly. It might be that you have to think on the spot fairly quickly. You might have to come up with solutions very quickly this, this month. With the Knight of Swords... There could also be a sense of urgency around an air sign. If you have a sibling air sign, a relationship partner air sign. Maybe they're rushing out or to do something or to get something and you're really feeling that. You're really um, preoccupied with that maybe with the Knight of Swords. In terms of relationships, I feel as though some of you are wanting to press forward quite quickly. Uh, maybe you're wanting marriage with the Hierophant quite quickly or maybe you want to purchase a home with the Three of Pentacles here. But I feel that there's this need to do it and do it now. So there could be a certain window of opportunity this month where you'll have to take the opportunity as soon as it comes about. There could be an, a message to this. There could be an underlying reason why there's a sense of urgency or you may be pressed for time. Maybe time is of the essence this month. For some, it feels like uh, you might be in a relationship um, that's, that's quite early in its stages, yet you're already talking about marriage and you might find that things are moving exceptionally fast because the Three of Pentacles is negotiations. It's in relationships, it's dating, it's planning your future, planning your finances, planning your direction. how you're going to move forward, what home you'd like to buy, where you'd like to live together, moving in together maybe. This is discussions and negotiations and planning. And it's, as I said, it's something very important, something very dear to you. It could be in a work or a business aspect as well. The Three of Pentacles, we see this man negotiating with uh, these other men, showing off his product, his service here. In this building, it could be that there's an interview or an important meeting that's coming up where you might be put on the spot or your opinion is going to really sway the direction of your boss, the direction of the company, of how people perceive you. It could be a discussion of salary, of pay, especially if you are coming up to a review of some kind. The Three of Pentacles is sort of this, it could be you pitching a product or service you might be driving out with a chariot that's all about mobility and movement. You might be driving out to certain places, advertising. This month could definitely be one that's filled with negotiating, pitching a product, trying to sell a product. 
advertise a product, discuss finances at certain buildings here with the seven, with the three of pentacles, sorry. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune. This is a beautiful card. Things are on the up and up, Pisces. It's almost like you're on your way to fame. You're on your way to recognition. You're on your way to receiving that promotion. And there's urgency here. You want to be where you see yourself. In your mind, where you see yourself, you want to be there already. You want to have that already. It takes time, but the Wheel of Fortune is reminding you that great things are in store for you, Pisces. You just need to be patient. Your wishes will be fulfilled. You have the Nine of Cups. This is the wish card, the dream card. For some, it's almost like a dream come true. You might be meeting someone or in a relationship with someone that wants to get married, wants the same things as you. Maybe they're really um, career-driven, very money-driven as well. There's um, commonality here between the two of you, possibly. It's someone that you've wished for or something that you've wished for in a relationship. Maybe it's buying a home. Maybe it's visiting a, you know, a church to plan a wedding, to plan an engagement. It could be an important meeting for your creative pursuits as well that's coming in here in September. But I definitely feel this Knight of Swords is dominating, um, dominating you career, career wise, creatively, or in your relationships. There's a sense of urgency to get married, to get coupled up, to move, to get, join finances. It will happen. I think you just need to give it time because you can see the Knight of Swords, he's sort of racing towards the Chariot and the Hierophant, who are very prominent figures that have fame and respect and are very well revered, um, that are experts in their field, that ha are able to dominate and give a lot of authority on an issue, on a topic, on a, on a role, on a job. Important discussions that are happening though, definitely, whether it's in relationships with the Three of Pentacles, it's happening in the physical. So you're physically sitting down with someone saying, this is what I want. How are we going to do this? I want to move forward. And it could be that maybe you're rushing things. Maybe, you know, you're currently with someone who you can see in your long-term potential, your long-term future, whether it be a, an employer, a company, a partner, a spouse. But for some reason, there's a need to have this important conversation. It could be an earth sign that might be reaching out to you or another sign that will be reaching out to you because the three of pentacles is, you know, they're wanting to negotiate. They want to know either where you're at, how you're feeling, where perhaps this relationship is going. I think for the most part, a lot of you are very happy in your relationships and for those that aren't, there's a sense of urgency. Time is of the essence for you to leave with the Knight of Swords if that's what you're wanting to do, if that's what you know your heart is telling you to do. If you're in business or you're hiring a stall at a convention or a conference of some kind, I feel as though you'll be placed in a position that's very, um, that has a lot of foot traffic, that a lot of people will see, a lot of people will see you, a lot of people are looking towards you. Um, this could be on social media as well with the chariot and the, the hierophant. But good fortune is coming. It could also be that some of you are going to a bank or a financial institution with the Three of Pentacles wanting to fund a dream, um, wanting to fund a movie maybe, wanting to film and fund a movie, wanting to fund a, a family home or a holiday maybe, a car even. This could certainly take place in, in the month of September. 
Now I'll leave it at that, but so far, so, so far, so good Pisces. I do wish you a lovely September.